Hey folks, we are doing a bee removal from a home. This is our first time doing this. I just took a course at Rutgers on um, taking and keeping bees, but we got an opportunity to uh, collect bees from somebody's house, an established colony. Uh, Tom is going to explain what's happened. So the bees are located on the, on the exterior siding in the area between the first and second floor. We think it's about a 16 inch wide single joist and that, that hive probably runs about four feet deep into the house. Okay, I'm going to go up and climb on the ladder. I have what is going to be my queen catcher. It's a lady's hair clip that I've just put in some uh, lad press and seal. Once I get the queen in here, we'll secure her near the hive and we're hoping that the honeybees will be attracted to her and then come uh, close to the hive. What are you doing there, Mike? Come on closer. <laughs> Okay, I'm hoping you can see this, but um, in this um, hive, I believe she's making several queens. There's a queen sack right there. I wonder if I can get them to move out of the way. You can see that. It looks like two queen sacks. They're with the burlap in one of the orange um, containers. So you can see kind of what I'm working with here. They've been fairly cooperative. Right now we're at a stage where we have vacuumed quite a bit of bees. We've collected them in this box and we're going to try and uh, open it up and shake them into the deep hive body and then try and secure this and put some screen on it. We've got to move inside and we want to be able to collect as many of the hives um, and the bees. Hopefully we'll find the queen in the process. There's Tom. <laughs> okay, this is how far 
we've gotten, here's the, uh, close to the wall, here's how much we've cleared out already. Can you move the vacuum, Claire? What? Just move the vacuum. Okay, there's Claire. Unfortunately, Claire has been stuck three times. These rubber gloves are not really doing much to be effective. Okay. Basically, we're pulling up these floorboards and they're a mess. We're going to throw them away. They're not worth salvaging. Okay. now we finished it took us uh, five hours to clear out the hive pull out the honeycomb and uh, store it bring it home um, we're tired <laughs> that was a job <laughs> but uh, as you can see we've got uh, about four slices of uh, honeycomb and we're gonna try and clean it up a little bit and extract what honey we can the comb was uncapped, so that was the freshest honey you could get. Now we enjoy we enjoy the golden treasure. It really was like a treasure hunt, pulling out the hive um, piece by piece, each of the combs. I don't like honey, but I do now. Mm. It's better than store-bought honey, mm. that's for sure. What's, what's interesting is that um, once you open up the comb, you the inside... The, in the, color. the mm. inside of the comb is very clean very clean. The outside, not so much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the inside was really clean. Mm. So we cut it open. The taste is got a, like a floral. It's it's different than the clover because it has like a variety of flowers. It almost tastes like a wild flower mix. You can put your wax in here. Mm. Worth the effort? Oh, yeah. Yes. We have a uh, a colander strainer with cheesecloth and what we've done is we've mashed up the remaining honeycombs made sure we got all the brood out so we mashed it up took a spatula to the bowl cleaned it out really well poured it into this strainer and already this is how much honey we have gotten this is amazing mm -hmm.